Shalom Lechim. Benai Shalom. What is Kutthusser doing up at 1 a.m. Mountain Time? This is what I thought I'd do with you uh, tonight while you sleep is go over, and I don't really like this headphone set. You need to rec rectify that. I don't guess I even need it, really. Um, yeah, so this is what I thought I'd do. Um, I'm sitting here looking over um, some of the tables that I've done through the years. Let me just take you over to my brother Lewis. And I'm going to put a link down at the bottom. Uh, you can always find really great information over here at Lewis's site, which is postscripts.org. Uh, he always debuts my latest Bible code. And I appreciate you, my brother, Lewis. Um, you're awesome, brother. He works tires. I mean, this guy puts a lot of time into what he does. Uh, I don't really got my mic is on good. <clears throat> anyway, they've also developed a Bible code app, as you can see here. You can download these apps, and it's absolutely free. And you can download these tables in these PDF forms. Uh, what I want to show you is when you go to Postscripts, go to Codes, and just click Codes. Don't go to Codes 1, go to Codes, and it will bring you here. Now, if you go down, you can see uh, in alphabetical order all the ones that I have published. And it's quite a bit. And I probably got a thousand or so more yet to be published and then you know all you do is you see like Avedon you go to code 11 and you can find all those that are under 11 and you can download them and check them out yourself so I just kind of want to point that out before we get into uh, what I want to show you which is um, some of the most talked about and I couldn't do all of them, guys. I maybe have to do another um, video along this line. But some of the most talked about and requested that I review. And these are in the PDF form that Lewis put together. Not in... Uh, I'm not going to pull up the actual table out of my, my file. Um, so we won't be talking about the verses. So we're going to just kind of go through each one of these and just kind of do a year in review or two, three year, year interview. Some of these are very old. <clears throat> and just talk about each one of them very briefly. Um, uh, I just thought it was important, guys, because there's a lot of inf misinformation. And some of you are upset with me. Around 25 of you. My number's going up around 25 or so. Um, and then I saw post of some of you guys talking about me in a roundabout way on Facebook and the sacred name stuff and you know and some other things here's the thing guys um I don't fall under that category sacred name movement I don't condemn you for saying the name Jesus I simply have through the research and through analysis brought you truth I choose to walk in that truth you can choose to do what you want to do and I'm not going to condemn you for that that's between you and the father and I'm, and I'm sorry that some of you get really defensive and divisive and angry about it the, the rapture thing I mentioned rapture in the last video and many of you freak out the abomination of desolation when I talked about historically how that has already been fulfilled verbatim 
and Matthew points that out with those who read this understand. One of you freaks out about that, just just to hammers me on it. And guys, uh, look, I'm not here to you know go against the grain or be abrasive with people or be rude or divisive or be attacking people. Uh, the stuff with the the noon and uh, the co the other code channel that's on here. I'm simply trying to point out to you misinformation and deception. But I've brought up these tables because I want you to see what real codes look like that are um, throughout the whole Tanakh. This goes against what Rick Shaw and Glazerson claim that there are only codes in the first five books. That's originally why I pulled these up, because there are some astounding finds, especially the ones in Genesis about Yeshua. And I got a, a full spectrum here that we're going to talk about uh, that, that some of you have, you know, flagged as one of your favorites. Um, but I'm hoping Rick will watch this. Because, brother, you're being deceived when you're being told by Orthodox rabbis that codes are only in the Torah. Our Father is not limited to just the Torah. Okay, he spoke through the prophets, through the, the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. And that's how his whole book is validated. Okay, so let's get started. Some of the some of the first ones I pulled up, uh, the mark of the beast, one of the main ones you guys want to talk about, and I hope the resolution on this is is okay. You can find this video in my archives. Um, it's pretty interesting. I'm sure there's still much hidden in this table, uh, but some of the things here uh, is FEMA camps, um, wickedness computers uh, there is a connection to RFID in here you can see that right there with the fallen uh, Obama's name vertical it's also connecting here and running across now here's the actual access term with the Pope running across the top then you have America Elijah's in here judgment uh, judgment let's see how many times one, two, three, four, five times. I think that is a pattern. <clears throat> CERN is also in here. We're going to be talking about CERN in another table here in just a minute. Uh, the mark. You can see right here in the plain text. The mark in a table about the mark of the beast. Um, FEMA camps in here. At the economy is written, I believe it's backwards right there. It's also over here vertical. Uh, no, excuse me, in the green, crossing over the whole page. This is at a width of 14,677. Now, one of the arguments with um, these rabbis and Dr. Hartlett from New York University is uh, the amount of numbers of letters yeah, granted, we're talking about more than 308,507, I think it is. Uh, or may I may have that backwards, which is in the Torah. There's over a million, which is in the Tanakh. But it does not discount that there could be codes in there just because there's a vast amount of it. When you're looking at a matrix window like we're, we're seeing right now on the, on the uh, uh, screen, this is just one portion of a cylinder that is at a width of 14,677. Now think of this as a cog inside of a complex lock. There are going to be various sizes to that. Not everything is going to be in a very small skip. You're going to have some that are on larger skip. Now, that's for the access term. We don't want to see uh, search terms related to the access term in large skips. This, to me, indicates resonance because I believe because we're looking at this as a two-dimensional form I believe we're seeing that resonance which is something that's very deep like cubed 
code, which is something totally different. Uh, so just because the width is a you know five digit number doesn't mean uh, it's not a valid code. The methodology is flawed, um, and that is my argument on this. Uh, you can see 2016 is in here with judgment, abortions connected to that. Uh, you got the soul and the harlot connected in a 90 degree angle. Um, FEMA camps, the sign in hand, uh, computers with FEMA and Obama. Uh, you also have the world right in there. See, in the black and red is the mark of the beast, but then you have the world which is connected with the Pope. Um, and I think that is it on that one. So let's move on <clears throat> to this next one, which is the moon God and Allah. Now I got a lot of flack on this from, <clears throat> well, two, two camps, which was obviously the Muslims and the Catholics. Now th there's a very good um, YouTube channel uh, it's originally Seven Day of Venice, but I don't hold that against them because it's about the research. I mean, historical fact is historical fact. It doesn't matter what they believe. So, uh, for those of you who say, oh, that channel is Seven Day Adventist, uh, doesn't matter. They have a series called Know Thine Enemy. And in there, if you go scroll down to, I think around around 44 to 77 uh, in the series, you can find... Uh, how the Catholic Church is connected to Islam. It, it birthed out of it. Mu uh, Muhammad married uh, the daughter of uh, a cardinal. So yeah, a lot of their ideology, a lot of the things that you see in Islam came from Catholicism. The beads, uh, rosaries, just for, for one. Uh, the, the minarets and the bell towers, uh, another. If you look in the Middle East, most of the mosques that you see around Syria and Jordan and other places, there's a Catholic church, an ancient Catholic church right next door. Uh, it's because this is the mother of the harlot. She is the harlot at, right at about Babylon. And you better believe the Freemasons and Illuminati and the, the Templars are all uh, connected. And you say, well, how is that? These people died. They didn't even know each other throughout the ages. Well, it's not about the people who are the vessels. It is these angels who are controlling everything, you see. Um, so in this particular uh, table, which is Mystery Babylon, uh, we've got the moon god, Allah. From the beast, the caliphate, the pope, and Allah connected together. Unclean, um, Hamas, and Islam connected. Baphomet is in here. Now look at the cluster of this, this particular table. This, this particular width is a small cylinder at 470. Now that is incredibly small clustering of, of, uh, words. And if you go by the methodology of, of the Orthodox rabbis, um, this, this, this is statistically um, valid, incredible. It is a uh, testament of the accuracy of codes. I'm not talking about the stuff that you're seeing on YouTube that is a imitation, which you're going to see a lot of fakes, and those that want to imitate you. And I've said before, Laban was a heathen, but he had an ephod. That did not make him a priest just because he had an ephod. It made him a heathen with an ephod. <clears throat> we also see in here Muhammad, the harlot, paganism, uh, Tammuz is in here. Go and study who Tammuz is, um, who Nimrod is. Um, Semiramis, all of these names that are in here, these are from demons, all about mystery, mystery Babylon. Um, the Mahdi, the Templars are in here. Uh, the serpent, fornication, fornication, Allah, Hamas, the abominations, the harlot, 
from the beast, uh, from demons. Uh, Allah, the, I mean, you can see here. I'm going to put a link for each one of them. I mean, you can go to, you know, <clears throat> postscripts and see these for yourself, folks. Um, even if you can't read Hebrew, you can see those Hebrew letters. You can get a translator. You can find somebody who reads Hebrew. Because I had someone uh, message me, well, all of your code tables are in Hebrew. We'd rather see the King James Version where we can see it in English. We don't know what you're saying is true. Which is completely preposterous. Over 25% of my viewers are from Israel and are, you know, and not just Israel, from around the world. There are a lot of people who speak Hebrew who read and know what they're seeing here. So, um, I know there's an, a, a limit of faith that you have to take when I'm telling you this is what it says. So, for those two people who brought that point up in one of your posts, um, that's why this is. Uh, for Rick Shaw and for Derek Gilbert that talks about the King James Version, this is not that. This is the same program that Glazerson uses. So uh, let's just put that to rest. These are valid. They've been validated by Dr. Bengigi and uh, Zev Porat, which is a brother and a friend of mine, has also seen these tables. And um, he is a full speaking Hebrew. Um, so let's go on to the next one. Which is the restrainer. Um, another issue that people wanted to, you know, ram me on. I told you guys that I believed that the codes, one of the purposes for the codes was to validate the Father's own book. Okay. There are, there are thousands and thousands of commentaries and there are mi millions of different opinions on any given uh, verse in Scripture. And there's over 30-something thousand in the Bible. Uh, that That's a lot of confusion. Uh, I, I should have pulled up this uh, diagram I got about all the, the religions that kind of branched off. Um, but what does the Father mean? His book should be able to validate itself, right? So, it occurred to me one day as I was thinking about uh, the restrainer because there's there's different opinions on that. Who is the restrainer? And when the restrainer is removed, you know, some say it's the church, some say it's the Holy Spirit, uh, some say it's Michael the angel. Um, but here's where um, knowing the book of Enoch comes into play because now, looking at this table, it makes sense. For those of you that haven't read or, or listened to the audio version of Enoch, this won't make any sense to you. So here, let me let me just go through this. All right, so um, <clears throat> in Revelation, you have seven thunders that speak out of order. We, we know these are fallen angels. Holy angels have order. There are four that are bound at the river Euphrates. But we also know of one that is in a pit in, in the earth. And that Satan will eventually be cast out with keys to open that pit. Um, so there are fallen angels that are being restrained. That is the, the evil ones, the ones who are the puppet master, because see, the ones who have dominion over the air right now is the disembodied, uh, Raphaim, the, uh, the Nephilim, uh, the demons. But these are the chief commanders. Some of the names that you're going to see in, in some of these tables here. Um, but it occurred to me one day, I believe the Holy Spirit said to me, who is the restrainer? And so I wondered, is that in the codes? And it indeed is, as a question, one time. And uh, let's just see, very small skip. It's, you know, four digits, seven, six, four, eight. 
uh, is the width. So, I mean, it's not incredibly small, but it's, you know, it's respectable. But uh, this is what's here. Uh, the restrainer, Sons of Darkness, you have four. River Euphrates, connected to angels. Scorpions, what comes out of the pit? Scorpions. River Euphrates is here. Demons. You've got Michael down here with Locus, uh, Ramiel, Raphaim, Uriel, uh, the Seven Thunders. Seven Thunders is also over here behind my picture. You can see Seven Thunders, uh, Ramiel, and in a plus, plain text, uh, and we blessed from heaven. Angels connected to that. Three days, the word Sheol in Hebrew, which, which is grave. Uh, Samuel, which is one of the, 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 the chief ones, Semjaja, uh, Raphael is in here and it's connected to the actual, um, access term and the fallen. <clears throat> if you notice here, let me just zoom this in. I want you to make sure you can see this. The access term here, the restrain, who is the restrainer? Then you have the fallen, the Nephel. Right there, vertical. Raphael connected uh, to that. Uh, our bound is in there. Uh, then we have the word Sheol over here, Pharaoh king, and he is a pope. Right there. This is the verse right up the top where the father destroys the earth by the flood. Enoch is in here, um, shackled, or, or same thing as restrained. Abaddon, Michael, the angel. I think I believe Michael, the only one I believe, is Gabriel, not in here, if if I'm not mistaken. Um, the pit, the fallen Michael, 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 the angel over here. Which in reverse, by the way, this is really really interesting. In one direction. You have Michael, but in, if you read it in reverse, it's messenger. How interesting is that? Azazel in here, which is the angel, a fallen angel that is in the pit. If you know the book of Enoch, you know this. He is in the pit with shackles and chains and, and everlasting darkness bound and are bound until when? The day of judgment. Judgment is all over this. Uh, so there you go. Very compelling table there. Uh, another one, the tribulation. If you, everyone wants to talk about tribulation. Are we going to go through it? Are we going to escape it? Yeshua did say, you shall see tribulation. Um, so I did a search on that to see, um, to, to search these things out. You know, it's like a quest of truth. You know, there's too much opinion from man and commentators about you know interpretation of the bible so that's why i believe the codes are there it's not to predict the future but validate things like who are the two witnesses i mean if you think about it, logically with a process of elimination shouldn't you be able to find something like that encoded i mean that's the kind of thoughts i would have so here we go with the tribulation and some of the, the um, things here. Now this one, uh, as I told you before, I, I, many times I only have United States or America in the tables uh, because that's where I'm from. And I believe this country has fallen from grace and is going to come under extreme, extreme judgment. <clears throat> so I would usually just look for that name mostly just to scream out to, to my own countrymen uh, to repent. But this is an example that many countries are scattered all through there, even in, in the tables where only America is shown. And, uh, a lot of times Russia, Canada, uh, you know, Canada especially, Mexico, are always there with America. Uh, but here we go. The tribulation, the United States is in here, atomic uh, atomic war, by the way, uh, the wrath of Yahuwah and Sodom coming together 
at a 90 degree angle, right close to abortions and annihilation. You got Russia in here, judgment. Abortion is all over it. So, you know, that is a main, as I've said before, grievance of this wrath of Yahuwah that's coming. The plagues, perversion. Uh, Comet is in here twice. China, Egypt, India. Um, United States, rapture is in here. Uh, warfare. Homosexuals, Sodom, the British. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, guys, I reduced this down because there were so many countries in there that it, it, it was just just too busy and you couldn't understand what was there. So I did uh, reduce it down to the most, uh, I wouldn't say the most important ones, but the biggest you know, population, so to speak, um, main players, Russia, Canada, uh, the British. So there you go. And also each one of these verses that you see highlighted in there are uh, directly connected to that, the tribulation and the axis term. Uh, 5025 is the width and um, another valid, another testimony that there are codes all the way through the Tanakh, folks. Um, next one, Obama the dictator. Now I found this one, and it is very, very detailed and condensed. Um, this comes at a width of 21144, key number there, 44, which is the, the president's, um, the number of his presidency. Uh, Eat, like I just said, look at all the verses, and this falls in the mostly the prophets, and th and that's why, good point here. That's why it's important to look in the prophets, folks. I tried to point out to Rick that Chris and I found Obama in Gog and Magog. Uh, that was the only code that Penlight wanted to validate in the prophets. But here's a perfect example. All prophets, and we have the axis term Obama the dictator. Then the condensed density of all the terms in this area, which this the number of letters that we're actually looking at are, are around you know 4,900, 5,000 letters. That's not a lot of letters for the amount of information, corresponding verses, and you know, search terms. It's all end time stuff. You see war is all over it. War is here at least three times, I believe. Um, you've got Hillel, which is uh, the name of Lucifer before he was cast out, which is praise. That is what he wanted. Um, Tammuz down here, the Holocaust. Uh, Abaddon <coughs> in here. 2015 and 2016 is in here. Uh, the Book of the Days. Mount Hermon. This is where the fallen angels came down. Uh, let's zoom it in so we can see some of these words that appear here. In, in some in phrases, you got King of Babylon, the fallen uh, demon and of Allah, written here backwards, with the the name dict with the word dictator, um, war and rush of blood, mystery Babylon. Look at that. You have the words mystery Babylon, rush of blo blood and war, with the word gate. And I also believe that CERN is in. Yeah, CERN is over here. Uh, in this cluster, we've got the gate, uh, death upon stones of fire, or, uh, attrition, Jerusalem. Where was CERN at in this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I may be mistaken. It may be in the next one. Uh, help FEMA is in here. Um, house of slaves. 
uh, and house. Look at this vertical house of the masters and house of slaves coming together at a 90 degree angle. You know, what are the odds of that? Uh, so compound, compound all of this information, uh, and, and consider, you know, this is not just random occurrence. Um, I've shown you what random occurrence is. We have words here that are more than two and three and four letters. So to me, this would be, and also Shemitah's in here. I just re realized that a couple of times. Um, so to me, this is a, a serious code to consider. I believe it's prophetic. So we will see. The next one, the gates of the abyss and CERN. Here we go. The gates of the abyss. Connected to the Nephilim. How about that? <clears throat> Shiva is in here. Dark matter stacked on top of each other. The watchers, computers, Shiva, Atlas. This is one of the research stations in the, uh, the, the CERN, you know, station there. Uh, we've got thunders over here. If I'm not mistaken, thunders on the other side as well. Yeah, seven thunders here. These are the fallen, fallen angels, guys. And, and they're trying to open this gate up, this abyss. So they can reanimate a host. And what are they going to do? Well, you know, when the four that are at the river Euphrates are released, they're going to wreak havoc. They're going to destroy the earth. For the exception of those who have the mark, who are marked with the name of Yahuwah. Hurt not the oil nor the wine. Um, we've got judgment, Lucifer in here, the destroyer. Uh, awake, judgment to come together. Abaddon, from CERN twice, and as the days of Noah. Apollo in here, of the darkness, and uh, my father is a king. My father is a king and of darkness. Who is that? That, that, that was an interesting convergence there. Um, <clears throat> here is Death Methods DNA. What are you seeing with the, GNO, uh, the, the GMO stuff? And by the way, this is the seventh tetrad table that disappeared. So you actually have two tables in one. The seventh tetrad is the access term over here in the far right. Um, but this was the anomaly that I found in the verse from Isaiah when Lucifer uh, is rebuked by Yahuwah. He's, he's, he talks about how he's fallen. But vertically, running through the name Lucifer, it says death methods DNA. But with the bet yod, the, the, the black letters here, if you read it vertically, it says death methods DNA in me, in me, in me. Um, accident? I don't think so. It's also got... A strong connection to the beast, the fallen, Nephilim. Uh, indeed, Barak is at home, standing vertically right next to that. Uh, look at the verses that are congested right here. And go back and watch this video that I did on this called the Seventh Tetrad. Um, again, prophetic, very prophetic. This is telling us who, who the beast is, the Pope, and... Um, you know, Obama is part of it. I haven't certain to see if Trump is in there uh, yet, but that could be very well a possibility, guys, because if he's elected, and they don't kill him before he is elected, he is just another vessel. He is not the great white hope um, that's going to make America great again. What's going to make America great again is anguish and repentance and falling on our face and... Um, Seeking the Father, no other way, no other way, and this and it, and I don't believe it's going to happen because this this country is so stiff necked and arrogant. You know, you got people like me trying to teach you about the res the restoration of a name, and people get offended about. It. Imagine that person standing before the Father and having an answer for that, because I'm not going to have to. I'm not preaching heresy. 
I'm preaching you an absolute fact. Jewish sages removed his name. It is not unpronounceable. It was an edict that said, if you pronounce it, you will be killed. So they said, do not pronounce the name. They knew what the name was. You ask any secular Jew how to pronounce yod heh vav -Hey. It's, it, you know, it's not rocket science, folks. And for people to get mad and call me, you know, a sacred namer and I'm, and I'm a heretic, uh, it's just preposterous. It, it, I'm not going to have to answer for that. You're the one that will have to answer for that. I'm bringing you the truth. I'm not beating it down your throat and saying you're going to go to hell or you weren't saved by the name of Jesus. There's grace. And, there, and if you go and read Leviticus about the ignorance of the congregation, you're not held accountable until you know the truth. I brought you the truth. I'm going to live the example. You do with what you want to. That's between you and the Father. And I'm not saying that very. I'm not being arrogant here, guys. Really. It's not just some fade fad I'm going through. This is truth that I come through through these codes. It's very, very passionate. And, and, and if you can't accept it, that's on you. That's on, not on me. And if you unsubscribe, you unfriend me on Facebook, who are you hurting? You're not hurting me. I hurt for you, actually. Anyway, uh, another another perfect example. You, you know, uh, you got the year of war coming together. Barak. The Amalekites, and in those days, the days of Noah, Yehoshua, Yehoshua, three times, right there, 2015, 2016, with the messengers, 2016, coming together. Who is that? That could be two witnesses. I don't know. Just speculation. Uh, look at this. Everyone will see with death and Obama running right through, sharing the same letter is Israel. Everyone sees Obama and the death of Israel coming together. The Vatican, the Pope, judgment, King of Babylon, Son of Man. Another one. So go and watch that video. Uh, Perversion is his name. Yeah. Uh, the Catholics really got mad at me about this one um, because I was trashing their pontiff. Um, the Vicar of Christ, as they say. And by the way, folks, that means Christ on earth. So um, I looked up Bergoglio when he became Pope. And you remember the other night I was telling you, we tried to do the process of elimination thing when um, the last one resigned. Excuse me. Talking so much, your mouth gets dry. Um. We didn't get to, to figure out who it was going to be. But once we knew it was Bergoglio, I went and immediately found his name. And this is everything that comes up in it, guys. <laughs> Again, this is not, um, you know, 15282. It's a moderate skip, but the amount of, of detail in the in the condensity that they're in, as you can see here, some and I'll blow it up so you can see some of these terms here. Um, right next to his name, Bergoglio, is the phrase "perversion" is his name. Right next to it, his name is right here in, in the purple, but right there is um, "perversion" is his name. But look what runs through "perversion" is his name. Nimrod, Allah in a four square pattern here. You got altar on both sides of him. Hillel, Lucifer crossing his name. You got Allah, Allah Leviathan, abortions are enslaved. The beast or children of the beast uh, as the days of Noah are running through there defiled. Judgment, wickedness, Raphaim, righteous judgment, altar, 
sitting right on top of the word lies. 2016 running through there, impure. And all of these verses, every one of those verses that you see there are, are I mean, they're directly connected to the context of the, the access term itself. Um, you got the fallen, Nephilim, the Pope. <clears throat> Nephilim is all over it, which is the fallen angels, the demons. Um, I believe Jesuits is in here as well. Um, House of, House of Yahuwah is right here in the bottom. War. War here three times. Pretty sure it's here three times. Uh, Abaddon in here, son of perdition. Apollyon running right across it. Uh, King of Babylon. And uh, we got a couple of witnesses up here. Obama's name is also in here. So look at that. This here is a perfect example. How I've said before, Obama's name is not just in the verses about Gog and Magog. Here it is right here in one verse written backwards. Um, and I don't have it marked wh where that is. Um, I got a feeling that maybe... I'm not sure what book that is, but you can see there his name is written backwards right in one one verse. Uh, next one. And let's, sh let's, let's shift gears here and do something that will bless you, actually. Uh, to, you're talking about that guy there. How about let's talk about Yeshua of Nazareth in the access term at a, at a width of 1309. Right here. Uh, we got the words like sacrifice in here. The Messiah, Yeshua, son of Yahuwah, royalty. Uh, the reason why you see the word king and, and it's highlighted in gray and black here is because this section all the way through here, all the way across, is the book of Esther. But this is the really, really cool anomaly that happens when you type in uh, this particular access term. You got the the name Yeshua in here, right here. But it's surrounded by seven kings in a circle, almost like Yeshua, the name, is a diamond. And running right through it, and you can see the letter, yellow letter there, is Savior. Savior, Yeshua, with seven kings. The resurrection running right through it. Crucified king in one line. Uh, the Holy One, Savior, the Son of Yahuwah, Resurrection, Mashiach. Um, yeah, so an, another, and then I love the, the Yeshua tables. Um, resurrection of Yeshua. You know, this is before I started walking in the name here, guys. But look, I was just talking about this one with Derek Gilbert the other night, but the other day. This is the one that's in Genesis. Yes. Genesis at a skip of one, two, three in Genesis 31, 32, 33, one, two, three. Coincidence? I don't think so. But look at the, the, the condensed terms that are there right in one place. I mean, just like I was telling Derek Gilbert, the whole, the whole word testifies unto him and here we got the resurrection written in genesis before the foundation of the earth by the way um in all the information there now this is very scaled back the story that is going on here is with um jacob and esau and uh there comes a point where where jacob uh he he wrestles with yahuwah and he also reconciles with his brother um you will see here, hold on just a second, you'll see here in uh, in just a second, I want to blow it up so my Hebrew brothers can actually see this, and I'm believing in the, in the name of Yeshua that Glazerson will see this and confront him, I, Isaiah 53, Psalm 22, all the other ones that I can show you, and I can bring them all day, brother. Bring them all day. 
the resurrection of Yeshua in Genesis is right here in the yellow. A little bit more. Let's bring it up a little more because this is this is very powerful because there's a there's a sacrifice here right in the resurrection. Let's just center that. And I want you to see it. All right, in the yellow. This is the resurrection of Yeshua right there. But if you can see the letters stacked, this is one one word, these four letters. These are the same four letters that are stacked like a zipper right on top of the resurrection of Yeshua. And that is the Hebrew for my sacrifice. Now, check this out. We've got the name or Mashiach right next to that but then you see this color letter here and this color letter here and then here and there and then down vertical going straight down is grace the word grace it's also splendor as well but each one of those letters that touch like the red letter in Mashiach and then the Vav sitting on my sacrifice then you have the pay in Penuel, which is the face of L, then the rush in my blessing, and then the Aleph signed L. It was as if he was signing this off, as it, it, you know, making it very clear this was his doing. Look at this. We've got the atonement and the Lamb come together in an angle. He ascended. Um, Adonai is here several times. Uh, it is completed. Um, you remember when he was on the cross, he said it is completed. It is finished. And indeed it was. Uh, right here in the plain text, he rose up early. And this is talking about Jacob rose, rose up early to go to see his brother. But in the context of the resurrection of Yeshua, he rose up early. Uh, the anointed pomegranate, the Savior, sacrifice, your servant, uh, again, Penuel, the face of El, uh, Savior, the all, made in the fourth month, uh, he is the son, uh, and down this way, let's see what it says, um, in those letters, uh, the one whom is hinted, Ramez, there's a hint, there's a hint, Ramez, the Pardes, the hermeneutics of interpreting the Bible, Ramez, the hint is all over the place. Isaiah 53 is a perfect example. There he is, right there, in, encoded. Um, what else we have here? Uh, let me see back down. This is one of my absolute favorite ones, too, guys. We work this one. Um, in tiny chat as a group and uh, the Ruach HaKodesh fell upon that room and people just began to weep when when all these terms began to come up and and there's a lot more to this all of the disciples for the exception of Judas is here there is also four Marys there's Caiaphas there's Pilate there's Rome there's every detail that is known about the resurrection Right here at a skip of one, two, three. This is a perfect example of beyond probability. Beyond, I mean, this is astronomical. Uh, so I would encourage the rabbi to confront this uh, for, for, for those that want to just say um, Yeshua was a prophet. He wasn't really the, the the Messiah, the Savior. It's all here. It's right there in the in the story of a reconciliation of two brothers. Mercy and grace. He is the Son. Right here, it says, right here. What is my name? What is my name? What is his name? His name is Yeshua. And since we're on the names, uh, 
There is no translation for that. The translation for Yeshua would be uh, the salvation of hell. If a Japanese man came to America, you wouldn't call him by his, what his Japanese name means, you know, and I'm just throwing this out there, uh, son of the samurai, and, and you wouldn't call him that. You would call him so-and-so and so-and-so, which is his Japanese name. Same thing with other names. If I went to Japan, my name wouldn't change to very white boy. It would be Jonathan. They may have a hard time saying it or pronouncing it, but it would be Jonathan. The same thing applies with Yeshua's name. The fact of the matter is the name Jesus with the letter J, which came from Isus, which the Greeks would equate equivalent to. And this is how they interpreted who Yeshua was like Zeus. Jesus, like Zeus. Um, you may want to go with the Greek. That's fine. I'm not going to beat your head on. That's between you and the Father. And, and I still love you. And I hope that you love me. And that you won't throw stones because I'm trying to bring you truth. Go to read Galatians 4. Around 11th verse. But anyway, his name is Yeshua. His, father, his mother called him Yeshua. Some say Yehushua. Some say Joshua. And while we're on that, the father's name, Yehua, is very similar to Yehuda, which is, has a Dalit in it. You remove the Dalit, it's Yehua. So it's not hidden. It's not unpronounceable. It's known. It's just not said. So, next table. The return of the Messiah. And that's what you people in Israel, you Jews, are looking for a man. Two, to be exact, instead of two advents, two comings, the first, which was the visitation that you did miss, there's going to be another. And this is how Zechariah and the other um, post-Messianic, or the, the, the other Messianic prophecies that Yeshua will fill in some, you know, several hundred, by the way, which is the, no, the po probability of that happening is so astronomical. I, you couldn't even put the, the, the number down in writing. It would take you years to do that. I mean, it's insane. But right here you have the table. Return of the Messiah. And look. Whose name is right next. Here's the access term. The religious interwoven with the captives. But here uh, is the access term. Return of Messiah. Yeshua. With rapture on the other side of. The religious interwoven with the captives. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, we've got the mercy seat. Veil of the covering. That's going to come off the, the Jews eyes. Eventually they will see. And I believe one of the verses in here, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is uh, talks about they will see the one that is pierced. And I, I'm sorry, but when Lewis does these, he, he doesn't put the what, what verses and chapters they're in. So, um, and I don't recognize them right off the bat. Uh, sometimes it looks like Isaiah and, it, and it's Jeremiah. So I actually have to see a number in a reference to know, but... Uh, these are prophets right here in all the information about the second coming of Yeshua, <clears throat> the resurrected, the Mashiach. We crowned. It is completed. Uh, Tishri is in here. The Lion of Judah, son of Yahuwah. Yom Kippur is in here. Was crucified. Uh, son of David, Ben David. And Yeshua written backwards right there. Trumpets or Turah is in here, um, anointing oil, the bride, <clears throat> holy convocation is in here. Yeah, trumpets down to the bottom mentioned. 
uh, the atonement and uh, resurrected by his blood, uh, the bride connected. The bride's here several times. <clears throat> Again, that, this is a really interesting video to go watch because of the verses that, that uh, absolutely confirm Yeshua as uh, the, the Mashiach. Uh, here is one of the most recent ones. And when we were talking about uh, from Gladerson, uh, this is the one that is found in, I believe it's the book of Numbers, um, when Balaam is giving a prophecy. And this is where it says, uh, I will tell you what will happen to your people in the end of days, written here in the purple. We have the word Nabiru, which is vertically uh, going right through the yod there. Um, right next to it is a warning, uh, the star. Of course, this is talking about the star. Uh, the scepter that comes out of Jacob. Um, and then you, you see down at the bottom we have wormwood. And it is seen uh, at, at the top. Uh, and here is the other one that I, that I found. The one you just saw was one from Glazerson. But this is the star of Iru and the one that I worked uh, here. Which had a lot of connections to uh, planets like Mars and Venus and Saturn and uh, and things like that. All the things that are being perturbed. Wormwood is in here. Blood moons. Um, the angel comet it, uh, it is being concealed. Two witnesses in here. Look at this. Uh, 90 degree angle. That's witness, witness. Uh, the word of Yahuwah and the children of Israel um, hidden in Jupiter uh, and in the day of trouble all to the side there. All right here. And what skip was this? 27518. Uh, another one people are uh, concerned about. Yeah, I would be too. It's Wormwood. Uh, and I think that's all the ones I have, folks, to go over tonight. So I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe we can get into some other ones. And I think only we're in an hour. It's not too bad. Um, here's the site. You can go to Postscripts, just put in postscripts.org and go to Codes. And then you can find all the PDFs of uh, this work. And it is literally thousands of hours of work that I put into this, guys. And then on top of that, uh, Lewis did the work of putting the annotations in there. Uh, so uh, bless him and his ministry, if you can. He's got uh, a place to do that. He's a hardworking man um, and a believer of Yeshua and an exposer of the Illuminati and the elites. Uh, very good researcher. So uh, I'm going to go bed, guys. Shalom, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, we're probably going to be doing some more live streams. I'm getting a lot of messages. You guys like that, so... Um, we'll, we'll schedule something on a regular basis. So love you guys. Shalom.